We provide safety. That's the message behind an active shooter training exercise at VCU. And part of the reason why the university and the city of Richmond partnered to hold this very realistic simulation. More than 200 volunteers helped make it happen. Richmond reporter Madison McNamee tells us about the impact. This is an exercise. That's actually how everyone here has to just start and end their conversations when talking to each other in order to remind everyone because this actually looks so real, but that's kind of the point in order to best prepare everyone for an active shooter situation. It starts with a gunshot, but at this simulation, it's just a blank. I know it's fake, but you know, it just makes you think about the real thing. Volunteers like Carol Crombie came to VCU around 7 in the morning to get dressed and in the mindset for the role. She's acting as a gunshot victim. They told us if you wanted to do this part of it, you would have to um, wear clothes that you didn't mind them, you know, cutting up. The hope is when she goes down, first responders are quick to find her and help while police search for the shooter. We want them to feel like it's the real thing, and that's our goal because we, we want them to have that feeling like, you know, of urgency. Gunshot went to the light and deployed three times. But it's a no-fault learning environment, meaning mistakes can happen here. Like when an EMS crew accidentally went into a hot zone, which is where a shooter would still be a threat. It's not life or death now, but they practice for days when it could be. When I was a student, it wasn't like this. And, you know, students and young people and everyone really need to prepare to be able to respond. We've seen these situations can occur anywhere, at any point in time, any venue. And though this exercise falls just two months after a mass shooting took place two blocks from this site, we're told that tragedy had no influence on this drill. This had been in the works months prior to that incident. I have not changed my stance or protocol on active shooter response in the 13 years I've been here at VCU. It's something we train for regularly. Allowing VCU to evaluate its response to emergencies. We want to make sure that at the end of the day that the plan is working the way it's supposed to. So while all of this just is an exercise, first responders and as well as actors all tell me they feel better prepared to handle an active situation. On your side in Richmond, Madison McNamee, NBC 12 News. All right, thank you, Madison.